In this video, we're going to be setting up a new API for the employer to update their account. And then we'll set up a way for them to update their profile image. And the first thing to make this happen is we'll need to go into the user entity. We created this like several videos back and we'll add a new property to it. And then after that, we'll need to do a migration. So we'll do that and check the database, make sure our new column is in the user table in the database. And that's the first thing we'll knock out. And then next we'll update our employer controller, create our brand new update API and set that up. Uh, let's go knock out the first thing. Uh, let's update our user entity and open up the data access layer and the user entity we created several, several videos ago. And we're adding another property to this. So what we're trying to store in the database is the URL to the image the profile image so i call this something like profile image url or something like that and also this would be a string url okay and that's all we really need to do save this now we need to do a new migration and update our database open up the command line navigate into the api dot api and then we can set up our migration so dot net And then we're going to be adding a new migration and I'll call this like add to user. Uh, it's kind of long, but it's really descriptive. And then also make sure you add this since we're doing the migration within the data access layer. We don't want to add it to the API. We want to keep that within the data access layer. And to do that, you, you just enter in this project and then what folder you want to put it into. And I want to put it in the data access layer. So ci.dal. And I should keep that migrations inside this folder. Okay, so now that we created our migration, it should be in here now. And there it is. And now let's update our dot database. So .NET EF database update. Okay, so our new column should be in the database if we open up the database now. And let's refresh this. And then scroll over here. And there is our brand new column right here, profile image URL. Now we have a place to store our URLs for our profile images. Now that that is done, we're ready to move on to the next step. And now let's go into our employer controller and start setting up our new update method API. Open up our employer's controller, so employer's controller, and then right below the create method, we'll create our new API. I'll, I'll close this down and let's take over this one. Um, this is going to be an HT put, so uh, this would be perfect. And it's not going to be a void though. Uh, we'll just copy this right here. It's going to be an async copy and replace the void. And then it will be an update. Update. All right. And then we'll just work our way down, changing around all the values. Um, this here would be employer, something like that. And then also, we don't have to add this, but I'll add it in update. We probably could leave the update off, but I'll add it in just to be descriptive. So our, our endpoint is going to look something like that. And I'll change this over. That's more descriptive. And this will be a string now that's being passed in because that's the way we are, we're, st we're storing their IDs in the database as a string. Okay, so we're passing in the employer ID and then here it's gonna be actually from form and we're gonna get all our information from a view model. I'll call this something like update employer view model. And just to keep this short, I'll call it model. And let's create this a while, copy this, open up our view models folder, or actually just uh, add it to our view models folder, paste it in there. For now, this is only gonna have one property. It's gonna be our, our file. So um, I form file, file, and then I'll call this something like image or profile image, that'd be good. profile image and make sure we bring this in from HTTP. Okay, and that's all we need to do in our, our view model. Save this, shut that down. 
we will be adding more onto this in the future, like company name, things like that. But for now, just to keep it simple, I'll just stick with one and then shut this down, close this down again and make sure it's being pulled in. It is okay. Now, the first thing we want to do is check to see if this ID is matching their token uh, that's being passed in. And also we want to protect this entire API. So we'll use the authorized attribute. Let's go ahead and add that. So authorize. And then we created a policy several videos back and this is the employer policy. And let's make sure we bring this in from authorization. Okay, so now our API is protected and then also we'll do another check to make sure that this ID is matching the token ID. So if employer ID is not equal, user find first, claim, and let's bring this in so we get Telesense from uh, security claims, there it is. And then the next one is name identifier, so name, and we want the value out of that. Okay, so that should check to see if um, our ID is matching the, their token ID. And if it doesn't, then we'll just pass back unauthorized. Okay, so if they made it past this point, then we'll grab the employer from the database. So var employer, and I'll move this up so we can see it better. So employer, and I'll call something like from DB, that'd be good. And then away, we'll use our user manager to find the employer by the ID, this one, and then pass in the, the employer ID. Okay, so now that we have the employer, now we can update this and then we could call the update async. So right here is where we'll update their profile. So update profile. So here we can add stuff to their username or their company name, like change their company name. In, our, in this case, we're going to be uh, adding and changing their photo. So this is where we'll take care of all that stuff. And then let's finish off this method. So after we're done adding all the, our stuff to the uh, employer from DB, then we'll actually update the database. Let's create another variable and uh, this would be a result. And again, we'll call our user manager and, and use the await user update async. And then we'll pass in the employer from DB after we update it. So add that in here. And that's it for that. Then we should get back a property within the result a boolean if we succeeded or not so if result result succeeded and if it did succeed and then within an object like like this we'll return the result so equals result i'll just call it result and then also let's grab the employer from the database again the updated version of it and pass that in as well if i go right below here we'll make another call to the database and i'll call this updated employer equals and we'll do the exact same thing we did here so we're grabbing the employer after we did the update so we should have the updated image in there at this point. Get rid of this. Now I'm passing just this object back uh, for now. Like you don't actually want to do this in production because in here we have the hash password and we got a bunch of information that we don't actually want to pass back to the client. Um, we will be creating another user object and mapping it to that using auto mapper for that. But for now, I'm just going to pass the entire object back for testing and uh, copy this and that will be right here and we'll pass back the entire object from the database now one more thing is if it does fail then we'll pass back bad request so return a bad request also we could pass back the result with that as well
Okay, so now that's the basic setup of our method. Now let's go and actually update the profile image. And we'll need to pull in our new service for that. Before we pull in our service into our employer controller, let's go in and refactor our service again. So let's take care of that. If we go back here and go into our uh, service and then open up the service we were working on in the last video, close this down. And then inside the upload method, we'll, we're going to have it where it returns this, this blob URL. And this is what we're going to save in the database. So return and blob. And inside the, the blob, there's a URI. There it is. And then the absolute URI. That's what you're after. That one right there. And that's pretty much it. Now we're getting an error here because this needs to be a string now. And, there, and we're not abiding by the contract anymore. So we'll need to go into the iCloud storage. Let's open th this up interface right here and just change this one around right here okay so we set that up save this now we can pull this into our employers controller and if we go back here now let's go finish up our employers controller and then uh, we'll test out in postman now we're ready to inject our service into our constructor uh, you want to double check your startup class. We did this in the last video uh, right here. Open up your startup class and double check to make sure that you're pulling it into your startup class. I'll copy this actually and I'll pull that into the constructor. Close this down again. I'll put it right here and call it something like cloud storage and initialize it. Uh, this one right here and make sure I add this in here and here. Okay, so we should have access to that upload method and then that will return us a string that we can save in the database. Right here, create another variable. I'll call it something like uh, added file name or something like that. URL equals and then await. And now we call our new service, the upload method, and make sure we pass in our profile photo that we're getting from the model. So profile image. Okay, and then let's go and add it to the employer from DB and profile image URL equals our added URL. So added file name URL. Okay, now there's one more thing we want to do is check to see if they already have a, a image URL. And we want to go and delete delete that from our storage account kind of do some housekeeping like we don't want to just keep adding photos and not deleting photos then we'll have like thousands of photos in there so let's just do an if uh, statement right here so if and what we'll do is we'll check to see if they have a uh, image URL in the database so profile image URL is not equal to null that means they have something in there and then we're, we're just going to call the cloud storage and delete it so await and we'll use that delete image method and that takes a URL and that's going to be our employer from DB and then profile image URL. There it is. And it should delete it. Okay. And that's all we really need to do. Now we're ready for testing. Save this. Uh, let's start this up. And while this is booting up, I'll, I'll, I'll set up Postman. All right, we're all ready for testing. This is a lot of setup work. Like here is our new API right here. And this is going to be for updating our employer account. Here is for logging in. So when we log in, we'll get a token. Then we'll go back here. We'll decode the token. I want to show you something within the token. Uh, that's why I have this open. And then we'll check the portal, make sure our image is in the portal or, or, or in our storage account. And then we'll go check our database, make sure our brand new URL is in here. Uh, so let's go back here and let's log in, get a fresh token. And this is very finicky, this input, or I mean this um, API right here, because there's a lot of different settings that have to match up just right. So let's just copy this here. C copy, and then we'll go into our new API inside of our headers our authorization, make sure we replace this. 
Okay, so we're, we got our fresh token in here and then we'll go back here again. And we're gonna grab this ID out of here. I could have grabbed it out of the database, but I'll just grab it out of here, copy this. We need to pass that in the URL. Then also right here, we have the role employer. Because if you remember, we're protecting that API. So anyone that's using that API, API has to have a role employer assigned to their token. Uh, so just make sure you're using your right token. Okay, so I copied the, the name ID if we go back here. And that is what we need to pass in right here. If this don't match up with our token, then you're going to get a unauthorized. Double check your API. So API employers update. That's why I called the endpoint. And now we want to pass in our image. I'll close this down. And double check to make sure you, your name matches within the view model. I call it profile image. And then we'll select a new image. I'll pick the net core one. Okay, so all our settings are set up for this API. And let's hit send and see how it works. Okay, this is looking good so far. And keep in mind, we will be changing this around. We're not going to be returning the entire employer every time. Uh, they log in or they update their account. Uh, we'll be changing this pretty soon. Now let's go and check our blob storage account. If we go here, open this up, open the storage account inside our containers and open this up. And there is the brand new image we just added. And then if we go to our database and hit refresh, and there is our new URL right, right inside of our, our column. That's great. Now in the next video, we're going to be doing a little bit more refactoring. As you can see right here, these, these images are pretty big and we don't really need a huge image for the profile pictures. So in the next video, we're going to refactor our service a little bit more. And what we're going to be doing is resizing the image before we push it up to our storage account. And we'll be doing that in the next video. So I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.